Hi friends, welcome or welcome back to Day to My Budget. My name is Nita and I'm on a journey to becoming a financial warrior. That means staying in the fight to stay debt free, giving myself financial options with the help of zero-based budgeting, the cash envelope systems and savings challenges. And today I'll be stuffing my first paycheck of 2024. Before I begin, I just want to say I'm so sorry <laughs> that I'm so nasally in this video, but I am suffering from a stuffy nose that been with me. I'm trying to I'll keep the talking to to a minimum, but if things sound weird, just excuse me in advance. Thank you guys so much for all your continued support and your comments. I'm loving this. I'm loving y'all. Y'all loving me. Yes, we love each other. Just get right into it and count the cash. There should be a total of 808. And we have 51, 52, 53, 20, 40, 60, 84, 20, 40, 60, 85, 20, 40, 60, 80, 96, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 70, 10, 25, 35, 45, 55, 65, 75, 80, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 90, 91, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Who got 805? Okay, my bad. 805 it is. Okay, so I always start with my cash wallet. This year, this is week one my everyday wallet and then what's left over from week one goes to week two i'm gonna be starting a new follow a new rollover system so i'm gonna get this open because we're about to go through the rollover and it just add it to the side um, but i'm not going to count the rollover because we, we have quite a bit of counting to do this stuffing so we're fin coming from 2023 and this is this was my week two okay let's back up a minute i just want to show you guys that i do track what i spend um in my cash wallet here on my budget sheet this is from december so since this rollover is from december um we started at 225 i spent 84 so i'm left with 141 so now i'm going to officially retire these dividers and then groceries I allocated 50 and I spent 28, so I'm left with 12. Just going to add that to this. And then card juice, I allocated 60, I spent 21, so this should be 39. So 20, 30, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Home Goods it has 20. And we did not spend anything out of Home Goods. Then uh, Dine Out had 25. I allocated 25. We didn't spend anything. Fam Jam, we did spend 15 from here to, uh, it was a $5 buy-in per person in one of our Christmas games. So we did spend 15, we had the five left over. And then Beauty had um, 65 and we spent 20 at the hair store so we have that 45 remaining um, and my beauty is a sinking fund so it's always a balance and 
last pay period I, I added 25 and I spent 20 so the miscellaneous uh, had 32 we didn't spend anything and this is also a sick and fun for me it has a backup backup fund so that is it for week two so far I haven't had to use anything from here and I want this month because I'm on a no spend and I have some gift cards that I'm using which I do have them in here so just so I remember mention the gift cards per category and so now we get to stuff the wallet for the week. And so how I'm doing this is instead of stuffing week one, week two, I'm going to stuff everything in week one. And what's not used is just going to roll to week two. We'll keep it going like that. So for groceries, I am giving it $40. And I think I did that $220s. Let me just double check. Yes, $220s. And then I have four gift cards for groceries. And these I'm going to keep in this little card holder. Basically, they're kind of being, they're, my envelopes are kind of being double stuffed. But I'm using the, the gift cards first. And if I need the cash, I'll, you know, it's available. But um, the rollover in the no spend is going to go to a savings challenge or my mother head fund. Car juice is getting 50 and I did a 20, two tens, a five, and five ones. So one, two, three, four, five. Get this one in the back. So 20, 30, 40, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 50. So 50 in the cash for car juice. And then I have a gift card. I already put gas in for the week. That was actually January 1st. So what's remaining is $35.24. So we have gas covered with a gift card. And then home goods is going to get 15. Yes. 10 and a 5. And this last card, gift card is from Target. It's 20 bucks. I, that's all I had. Um, so it has a little extra. And then the others I don't have a uh, gift card for. For one, I don't plan on spending from them on my no spend. But I'm still stuffing them so that I can use the funds. At the end of the no speed. Right now it gets 25. So 20 and a 5. Fam Jam is getting 20. Uh, Beauty is getting 15. So 10 and a 5. Uh, Mixolydius is getting five. Ragnar is getting five. And yeah, that is it for my wallet. Hang time and kindness is being stuff the next paycheck. And so that was 175 to my cash wallet. Next, we're going to go into a personal binder, which holds wellness. And wellness is getting $30. So we have a 20 and a 10. And it now has 50. Speaking of wellness, I'm filming this on Sunday. And that is all for my personal binder. 
And Sundays are my reset days. My I call them my ready, set, go. My green lights for the week. I meal prep. I do an inventory check for my household supplies. I've added on my planner that Sunday mornings, I'm going to do a job, maybe 30 minutes. Sundays, normally, I it's my rest days from any type of physical activity. But I added that in so because I have a few goals. I want to try to reach. I'm ready for some of you. Or if you're new, when, when you see this watch, I'm planning on going to work out or jog or something. So next, we're going to go into the family binder. Another change I made this year is the kids' envelopes. They're going to be stuffed with my side hustle income. Put that down. Kids' payday gets rollover from Fam Jam for the school year. And then in the summer, the rollover goes to experiences, which is the fun hobbies uh, envelope. We had rollover, but I'm going to do my rollover stuffing separately. But I realized like that makes the video longer. And then, you know, so I'm just trying to cut down my video time. And we laid this to kids um, back to school envelope. And so each icon is $40. And so I'm going to get $40 today, 20 and 40 And back to school now has 1, 2, 3, 20, 40, 60, 70. So 270 And normally I have this color beforehand, but I actually forgot this time. Okay, so... That is done. The goal here is 900. Beauty is the backup envelope for beauty in my wallet. Birthdays, gift celebrations is getting 21. So 20 is a dollar. And so it has 10, oh, excuse me. 150, 75, 76, 77, 78, 178. Christmas is getting 55, so that's a 50 and a 5. It now has one, two, fifty, three, twenty, thirty-five. So, what's that? Three thirty-five. Yeah. The goal here is nine hundred. Also, in case you haven't seen my budget with bees, I am using this shelf to this started. So, and you see the goal here is six forty. That was just to get it started. So, five night. Uh, it's a new envelope and. My boyfriend and I love um, the UFC or MMA. So uh, we haven't missed not one UFC fight. <laughs> Most of the time we used to watch it at home. <clears throat> Sometimes we go out. So either occasion, especially if it's a pay-per-view fight, you have to pay for that. So that's like 90, 60 or 95 bucks. I think he has some kind of subscription going. So I want to have enough in here to cover a fight night at home or a fight night at the restaurant. That's what I'm working towards. I'm stuffing sick days, but not here. I'm, I have a I have a tracker. It's an envelope that I'm doing for healthcare. We'll get that to, uh, get to that in just a second. And then travel, vacay gets the rollover from dining out. But like I said, I'm, I'll be stuffing these my my backup ticket funds envelopes. They'll be stuffed in a, in a separate video this year. And then experiences, um, I wanted to get this to an even number. So my budget would be, I had an extra $25. And I, I in that video, I gave it to my uh, 1K challenge. But I took $3 from here, from there, that $25, and added it $3 to here. So I can even this up. So one, two, and three. So... One fifty five, fifty six, fifty seven, fifty eight, fifty nine, and sixty, because I'm gonna start um doing 
this little tracker. I feel like I want to set a goal to like 500 annually, but you know, I just want to track because it's only stuff with the rollover in the summertime. I need to take care of when the school is in. I need to be adding money. So when school's out, they're invited to places or want to do stuff. It has enough funds. So, and this is something, it should be in my Etsy shop already, but if not, I'm trying to com commit to my no spend. I was trying to not post um, any new items the month of January. So, you know, it costs to post. Oh, but since it's business, that's one of my exceptions. If it's business related, then things are, I know I'm, I'm going to have to spend. So, this is for Christmas 2025. Holidays um, is getting $5, which I missed in my budget with me. I didn't spend from this last year to cover my Christmas tree and my Christmas travel. And so I'm trying to get this back up to 200 bucks. So we have 1, 20, 35, 40, 1, 2. So 142. Oh no, I'm sorry. This is getting six. So 143. And then digital wallet is for um, just online shopping. Well, from the sounds of it, it looks like I may not be going to my run so early. It's raining. Uh, so we have 20, 40, 50, 5, 60. Um, this is, I know this is not in my shop yet, and I keep forgetting to list it. But this is, um, I do have it as a printable. It's a bundle of three, medical savings, dental, and rx or prescriptions and i believe the total 905 dollars the end of completion my goal here is 700 i finish it even better i believe this open off to the side so it can dry moving forward home and auto binder operating expenses get all over from car juice you'll see that in another video secure auto is my car insurance this is going to get to, uh, 80 so 50 70 80. That's all it has. I emptied out the envelope last month. Our defense. We have a track which we're going to do the 52 weeks challenge. This challenge. I'm kind of take, using the same approach as I did with 100 envelope challenge. Highest and lowest number. So 1 and 52. That'll be total 53. I'll stuff it weekly and that'll cover the next number 2 and 51. I forgot to do my cover beforehand. I'm going to color the lids on camera. And then off camera, I'll color in the entire jar. So 51, I mean 52, and then here's one. So this needs 53, and so 50, one, two, three. Maybe I'll save this challenge. The Cardi fits, we do have a thousand in the bank, and 53 on hand. Speaking of on hand, that we're in home and auto. By I'm definitely one of those people who like to, who don't like to run out of things. Now with my stuffy nose, I keep using it. My hand, that's what we use. And, you know, feeling kind of adjusted. For me, to give you an example, I have the use and one backup. So now the Mucinex is on the grocery list. Second one on hand because Pretty much I'm almost finished with the one that's in use. That's like my rule of thumb. Play this something. Try not to have us in situations where they run out to get whatever we need. So what's one thing you have in your household you keep on hand no matter what? Let me tell you. I is out of my rule of thumb, but especially if they for your bottom. 51. This is the eatery or recently known as meat sweats. And I put here bulk and special uh, orders. So we have 51, 20, 45, 46, 47. And special orders because I realized that like there's some salsa that I love and I cannot get it out of the store. And I decided I would take it from here to forward. Oh, it is 300 to cover meats. We're going to add a buffer in there to cover my salsas. Anything, about, um, anything for your bottom. 
fibre wash, wipes, uh, fibre products, toilet paper. You even have a bidet. Nobody should have no excuse to fresh in that area. Like, I got you covered. Run out of something, always in the bathroom. I have a toilet roll holder, so nobody should ever have to call somebody and ask for paper. I always back, uh, back up supplies in the bathroom. Last item on that list is hand wash. Yes, you do need hand wash. Goes with covering your bottle because you touch in that area. You need to wash your hands. Wash your hands. Keep your hands clean. Also, uh, saw wipes. Each bathroom has wipes. The rule is, I listened to my kids a long, long time ago. Because you don't see it doesn't mean it's not there. You wipe the seat after each use. You're at home and you see stuff. Can you imagine what's outside? You know, when you use a public rest uh, restroom, a lot of places are gross. Just something to make them think all the time. You know what? Never sit on public toilet seats. They want your leg to touch it. Just want to share that. But on Sundays, this is like my reset, my restock days. I go through the bathrooms, make sure everything is replenished. And like I look forward to doing this on Sundays. As well as meal prep. Make sure everybody's set for the week. Y'all get to know me, you must understand my thought process in certain things is a must. Going you know, to HOA, this is getting $23. So, yes, 20, one, two, and three. I have a goal here of $650. This is we have uh, 100 already. We need to stuff $550 for this year. <clears throat> decor i need to print out a new tracker this is getting ten dollars and it now has 51 two, three. on my exceptions list of well i'm sorry considering putting it on the exceptions list i don't spend but for my buy year I am focused on this year to buy it's the lights, like the dome lights that's at the front door, from the garage, at the entrance, and then the kitchen, the like chandelier, and the lows over the island. Also a dome light over the sink. You know, replacing all of those. You know, something that I really, really, really like. And I'm going to be working on me a total, so I have a goal amount in here. So I kind of want to get them close to the same time i do like one massive spin and then be done with it and then i can start rebuilding the goals i have here oh and uh replace uh door handles got the regular uh, that came with the house but i want like the door handle the doors you can even let the kids choose finishes in their for their rooms or to home decor or i'm sorry home defense this is getting 21 i have a goal here of 500 this year and so we do have 1,000 in the bank and so it breaks the total to 1,021 uh, the purge is a new category and at the end of the year I just love like I don't want to bring in mess from last year that we don't need or that's been overlooked un underused I have a purpose for it anymore so I go through clean out everything and I always find okay well we can start a, a system here organize this some kind of organizing system and I'm always I, I enjoy organization channels I'm home decor always find little things and then sometimes I could be walking through the store. I could be at Target and be like, oh, you know what? Use this to do that. It is totally not the purpose. But because I'm always searching for ways to better function and things with ease. That goal there is 300. Last, well, second to last by never mm -hmm. if ever. These, the funds in here will be a constant in my life. Here's emergency fund. Even $1,000 at the top of the year. Or at the beginning of the year, I should say. A year, I want to say $1,000 at the very beginning of the year of that that year's income. So I have this for any emergencies that arise in that year. It is, it'll prevent me from going into any other so they could continue to grow. This challenge, I'm going to stuff this. Uh, happy one, 
with thousand challenge. Once it's completed, we'll get it condensed and put it in here. And I'm gonna leave that in cash at the end of the year if it's not used to the other emergency funds. If it's used, that's fine. I have it specifically for your use. I'll let you know that's in the works with this. You're gonna need a, my goal is 365, a dollar a day. This year, 366. This is basically my own account to any sinking funds. So if, if a sinking fund is short, I'll pull the money from here. And when it's time to stuff that sinking fund, I'll stuff this first to replenish what it, what was borrowed and then continue stuffing um, the others. But the way I'm trying to build my budget, my back, I should not need this. But however, in case out of the ordinary happens and I have a secret fund for it, I can pull it from here. Or if I don't have a secret fund for it, because I mean, I try to cover everything that can happen in anyone's life. I have it, this, the funds in here can be used to start that secret fund or cover that expense. I don't want 70, I added 16. So 20, 40, 50, 60, 5, 70, 5, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86. So 86. It also use this time to condense, use these bills. And so that's why I have so, so many ones. Not time to condense, but um, putting back to the bank, technically condense, you know, some change already. It is nice bills. Fully funded at 255 for now. And new car is i'm gonna start stuffing this in my savings challenge video but my goal is at least two per month this month because i'm focused on getting this stuff as much as possible the money i was supposed to go to that was supposed to go to here is going to here but i'll still be able to start it with my challenge in my savings challenge video so yeah i think that is that is it for this binder and on to the fun part, I do, I'm going to see what's left over to put in month ahead. So be the last binder, but let's get into here. There's going to be some stuffing for sure. And that is 62 and 28. We have 25 and 1, 2, 3. I'm considering bringing this back to the shop, um, but like every envelope is different. Um, a lot of these I can't find anymore. So I'm trying to work on a kind of a uniform color and a few pops of a design. So we got 60. But these are definitely time consuming and you get 31 envelopes. So, you know, that's a lot. Plus, it is double sided. Let me know that it's something you're really interested in. Help me put a put a fire over my butt to get it done. I could want to kind of have some pre-made before I reintroduce them. So, so we have 62. So that is it, and let me mark the ones that we completed, 62, 60, and 28. I don't remember if I said this this video, but this will be my absolute first time doing the 1K side. I completed the 500 side at least twice. I want to say three times, um, and I'm going to try to do this side as soon as I'm finished on this side, start this, but at a much slower pace. I'm trying to knock this out if I can in two months. What's remaining, I believe, is $17. Five. I mean, 10, 15, 16, 17. Yes. My goal was to stuff month ahead with at least $25. Budget so many new categories. And then forgot to list certain categories on my budget sheet. And I kind of forgot all about month ahead. I know I can give it $5 because 12 of this needs to go <clears throat> to Amazon and me rearranging my binders and all that 
Oh, well, let me count it. 51, 40, 30, 35, 40, 45, 46. So 146. <clears throat> be rearranging my binders. Stuff is like, like I'm not awoke yet <laughs> to my new system. So um, $12. But I, I went ahead and fixed my pre-planning sheet for my budget budgeting categories i already fixed that and i was mentioning that in my previous um budget with me i fixed that so i i eliminate things being over skip or forgotten and i went binder by binder to list everything so i i got that fixed um but moving forward month ahead will definitely be at minimum get the 25 bucks canva i just wanted to mention one i'm gonna stuff with my side hustle because it's pretty much that purpose so i'm gonna take it out of that budget and that does it you guys thank you so much for being here if you're new to see you in the next one bye guys